In this video, we will discuss a recent Second Circuit case, Lou v. Siemens AG. This case illustrates the general principle that federal law applies within the territorial jurisdiction of the United States, but not extraterritorially. In other words, when Congress passes a law, it will apply to conduct within the United States, but we can presume that it won't apply to conduct overseas. To apply extraterritorially, when Congress passes the law, Congress must make clear that it intends the law to apply to conduct outside the United States. The law at issue in this case is called Dodd-Frank, and among other things, Dodd-Frank provides whistleblower protection. An internal whistleblower is someone who discovers that his own company is breaking the law, and then reports the violation. He blows the whistle on the company. Whistleblower protection laws prohibit the company from retaliating against the employee. The Dodd-Frank Act, among other things, provides protection for such whistleblowers. In our case, the plaintiff believed that he saw evidence that his company was illegally paying foreign government officials. He alleges that the defendant company retaliated against him when he reported the conduct. Plaintiff sued the defendant for violating whistleblower protection laws. But the plaintiff was a non-U.S. citizen who worked overseas. And he worked for the foreign subsidiary of a foreign company. All of the payments occurred overseas. The only connection to the United States was that the foreign company listed some of its stock on the New York Stock Exchange. The Second Circuit affirmed the dismissal of the case. The Second Circuit concluded that Congress did not intend for the whistleblower protection laws to apply extraterritorially. All of the actors in the case were foreign, and all the relevant events occurred in countries other than the United States. The plaintiff could not rely on U.S. whistleblower protection laws. If you'd like to discuss this case or any other matter related to U.S. law, stop by the message board and please visit my blog. Also, feel free to send me an email and to submit your comments below.